Step one, wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute uh, pot holder. The materials are listed at the beginning of the video. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by making a chain 12 and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochets all through for a total of 11 stitches so we'll skip this and start here and do single crochets all the way to the end so when you get to the end we'll do a chain one and turn okay then we'll start by increasing in the first stitch and then we'll do single crochets all through and then increase in the last stitch so we'll have a total of 13 stitches so continue doing single crochets until we have one stitch left at the end okay so now in the last stitch we are going to increase then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the third round we are going to start by increasing in the first stitch and then we'll continue to do single crochets And continue until we have one stitch left at the end okay so in the last stitch we are going to increase and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now we have a total of 15 stitches now for the next four round for the next six rounds which is from round four until round nine we are going to do single crochets in each round for a total of 15 stitches in each round okay so we are going to continue and do single crochet single crochet So when you get to the end do chain one and turn okay so continue doing single crochets all the way until you get to the ninth round and then we start the tenth round together always remember to do a chain one in at the turn of every round so after the ninth round this is how our work looks like okay so at the end of the row we are going to do a chain one and turn Okay, so now in the 10th round 
we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then we'll do single crochets in the next 11 stitches then decrease at the end so we'll continue to do single crochets and continue until we have two stitches left here at the end so when we get to the end we are going to decrease and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 11th round we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 13 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so when you get to the end we are going to do a chain one and turn now in the 12th round we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochets in the next nine stitches then decrease at the end okay so we'll continue to do single crochets until we have two stitches left at the end so when we get to the end we are going to decrease do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 13th round we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 11 stitches so we'll continue to do single crochets all the way until we get to the end okay so when you get to the end we are going to do chain one and turn now in the 14th round we are going to start by increasing in the first stitch so we'll increase and then we'll do single crochets in the next nine stitches then increase at the end so continue to do single crochets and continue until we have one stitch left at the end okay so when we get to the end we are going to increase then do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 15th round we are also going to start by increasing so we'll increase in the first stitch then we'll do single crochets in the next 11 stitches then increase at the end so we'll continue to do single crochets and continue until we have one stitch left at the end okay so in the last stitch we are going to increase then we'll do a chain one and turn now for the next four rounds which is from round 16 until round 19 we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 15 stitches in each round okay so continue doing single crochets all the way in each round until we get to the 19th round and then we'll start the 20th round together okay so after the 19th round this is how our work looks like so now in the 20th round we're going to do chain one and turn and we're going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease And then we'll do single crochets in the next 11 stitches and then we'll decrease at the end so continue doing single crochets and continue until you have two stitches left at the end okay so at the end we're going to do uh, to decrease so we're going to decrease 
then do chain one and turn now in the 21st row we are also going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochets in the next nine stitches and decrease at the end so continue doing single crochets until we have two stitches left at the end okay so now at the end we are going to decrease then we'll do a chain one and turn now in the 20 second round which is the last round uh, of this part of the body we are going to start also by decreasing and then we'll do single crochets in the next seven stitches then decrease at the end then we'll decrease then we'll do a chain one and cut off the end like that then we'll do the finishing off later okay so now we'll start doing the wings and for the wings will this is the head and uh, here is the neck so we'll just attach our yarn here just below the neck so this is the neck round so we'll attach the yarn here like that just to join okay and now starting where we joined we'll start by making a single crochet in the exact stitch where we have joined so we'll do single crochet and we'll make other uh, seven single crochets down once okay so one two three four five six and seven like that okay so after we do seven single crochets we'll do a chain one and turn and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three Four, and then we'll decrease two times so we'll decrease and then we'll decrease again then we'll do a chain one and turn now in the third round we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease two times so decrease then decrease again and then we'll increase in the next two stitches so we'll increase and also increase in the next stitch then we'll do a chain one and turn now in the fourth round we are going to increase in the first two stitches so increase then increase in the next stitch then we'll decrease two times so decrease and decrease again then we'll do chain one and turn now in the fifth round we are going to start by decreasing 
then we'll do single crochets in the next uh sorry we are going to decrease and then decrease again and then we'll do single crochets in the next two stitches so we'll do single crochet and single crochet in the last stitch now we'll do a chain one and turn now in the sixth round which is the last round uh, of making the the wing we are going to decrease and decrease again okay then we'll do chain one and cut off the yarn like that okay so that's our first wing and then now the next wing we are going to make the same exact way like the way we did this one so you're just going to attach your yarn here and repeat the same way we did as this okay so let's do that okay so guys after making the second wing this is how it looks like as you can see so cute so now let's make the inside part or the white part okay so for the inside part we are going to start by making a chain eight so i already did that so starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochets all through so we'll have seven single crochets so continue and do single crochets all the way to the end Okay, so now we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the second round we are going to start by increasing then do five single crochets and increase at the end so we are going to increase and continue doing single crochets then increase at the end then do chain one and turn okay so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet in the next four stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three Four, then increase in the next stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining four stitches then we we'll do a chain one and turn now for the next six rounds which is from round four until round nine we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 10 stitches in each round so continue doing single crochet all the way and continue until you get to the ninth round and then we'll start the 10th round together okay so after the ninth round this is how our work looks like so now we're going to do a chain one and turn and in the 10th round we are going to decrease five times all the way through so we'll have a total of five stitches so we are going to decrease decrease again 
decrease decrease the fourth time and decrease one last time then we'll do a chain one and turn now in the 11th round we are going to do single crochet all through so we'll have a total of five single crochets then we'll do a chain one and turn now in the 12th round we are going to increase uh, all stitches round so we'll have a total of 10 stitches so we'll increase then increase in the next stitch and increase in all the remaining stitches then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the next three rounds which is from round 13 to 15 we are going to do single crochets all through in each round for a total of 10 stitches so continue to do single crochets all the way and continue until we get to the 15th round and then we'll do the 16th round together okay so now after the 15th round this is how it looks like so now we'll do a chain one and in the 16th round which is the last round of this part we're going to start by doing single crochet in the next uh two stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then we'll do three double crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do double crochet and then another double crochet in the same stitch and another double crochet in the same stitch Okay, and then again we'll do three double crochets in the next stitch okay and then now after that we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so single crochet one two three and four okay and then we'll do uh three double crochets in the next two stitches so we'll do double crochet one and then in the same stitch double crochet two and again in the same stitch double crochet three and then in the next also three double crochets so one two and three then when we are done we'll slip stitch at the end and cut off the yarn like that okay so that's how it's gonna look like So we're just going to attach it over here like that okay so now let's make the uh, we're going to make two feet and uh, the beak okay so let's start with the feet okay so for the feet we're going to use this orange yarn 
and we are going to start by doing six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six and then we'll pull the yarn and then i'll place my marker over here now in the second round we are going to increase every stitch around so we'll have a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll continue and increase then increase the next stitch then increase the third stitch increase the fourth stitch then increase the remaining two stitches and then I'll remove my marker and slip stitch Cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Like that, and then we'll finish up later when we are crocheting, when we are attaching it to the body. Okay, so now let's make the beak. Okay, so the beak is quite easy, so we are going to start by doing a uh, chain five so we'll do chain one two three four five and then in the second chain from the hook we are going to decrease and then we'll decrease again so we'll decrease and then decrease again one more time Okay, and then I'll do chain one and cut off the yarn. Like that. Okay, so that's our little beak. So now when we are done we are going to put all the parts together so for the little legs we're going to put them here and here for the feet and then the beak we are going to put it over here and then place two eyes and then we'll be done okay so let's join all the parts together Okay, so guys, as you can see, I finished attaching all the parts together. So I just attached using this needle. This is what I used. You can see uh, at the back, this is how I stitched around. So I'll attach the link to this needle in the uh, section below. And also all the yarn that I used and the eyes, I'll attach them, I'll attach the links below so this is how i attached and then i attach uh, the little feet here at the bottom so starting from where the white part ends that's where you attach the feet and then also for the beak you attach it right before right below this um this row the top row you attach at the bottom then the little eyes 
and that's all guys this is how it looks isn't this the cutest cutest uh part holder so now we'll um make the top part for hanging so i'll just you just attach your yarn at the top so you can attach anywhere where you want then i'll start doing the chain so i'll just do a little chain you can do as long as you want and then I'll come to this other side and attach the yarn over here like that and then do chain one and cut off and this is how it looks like that so you can use this part to hang it so now that's it for today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye